So let's talk about the Airmar product line and how we name our products. There's a lot of confusion there. People don't know B's and TM's and C's and LH's and LM's and there's an alphabet soup out there that goes along with our names and some people, um, they ask, they get confused and they want to know why. So here's a really, really quick explanation for that. So you'll see that most of the numbers in our nomenclature are things like 175, 275, 75. Really what that is is a designator for the ceramic elements that we put in there. Really, don't worry about it, but just understand this, is that if a 265 is the number in a transducer, regardless of what letter goes in front of it, it's always gonna be the same ceramic used in a different housing. So a B265, a TM265, an SS265, all use the same ceramic element. Let's talk about that B or TM that usually leads that number. So TM, transom mount. For through hulls, there's bronze through hulls from B265, a through hull stainless steel SS265. P is a plastic through hull. B bronze stainless steel is SS, P is plastic. From there, we get some combinations. PM, that's a pocket mount transducer. That's designed to go into a pocket that's custom made by a boat builder. A CM is a cavity mount. That's designed to go in a cavity that's affixed to the outside of the hull of the transducer. And you'll see things like M or R, and those are designations for transducers that go on the outside of the hull, but don't necessarily go through the hull. So understanding the letter in front of the number tells you how it affixes to the boat itself. Now, particularly on our chirp transducers, you'll see an alphabet soup at the back end of it. And that's L, M, H, and H, W. That's low frequency band, medium frequency band, high frequency band, and high wide frequency band. So because our transducers can have multiple elements, you can have things like B265 low high or low medium. Those just mean that within that 265 element, we're using the low frequency and the medium frequency. So the alphabet soup might seem like a lot. All you need to worry about if it's Airmar, it is the best transducer that you can get.